In this tutorial, we'll discuss how to create a set of mechanical gears that can rotate in a perfectly synchronized fashion. It's not as easy as it seems, we need to use drivers in order to make it mathematically perfect, so we'll also learn about drivers in this tutorial. Let's first delete this default cube, and we can add our first gear from the Add menu, using this gear option. But if you can't see this gear option here, you need to open the add-on settings from Edit Preferences, then search for this extra objects add-on, and enable it using this checkbox. It comes by default with Blender, you don't need to download anything. So let's add our first gear, and then we'll go to the top view, by pressing 7 on the number keypad. We can customize the dimensions and other properties of this gear from this operator box. For example, we can change the number of teeth to say 15. But these other fields are mathematically connected with each other, which we can calculate from this site. The link to this free site is given below in the video description. So here we will enter the number of teeth as 15. Then this DP module will depend on the shape and size of the teeth of a gear. And two such gears must have the same module number, if we want them to mesh perfectly. And for a smooth functioning, they should also have the same pressure angle, which is here. Then the pitch circle of a gear is this circle, which goes through the middle of the gear teeth, and its diameter is the pitch diameter. If we take a closer look, the pressure angle is created by this slant edge. Then this distance is called addendum, and this distance is called dedendum. So this is the root diameter, and this one is the pitch, which we need, and the outer diameter is this one, but we don't need it. Now in our gear calculator, we have to enter a module number, which can be 2, and the pressure angle can be something like 20. If we calculate with this, we'll get a result as we can see here. And out of this, we need to only focus on these four fields. Let's take the value of this root diameter, we have to use this value in this radius field for our gear, but these are all in meters, and here we have these values in millimeters. So we'll divide all these values by 100, to convert them into centimeter, like our radius will be 0.25. Similarly, we'll enter the dedendum value as 0.025, and then, the addendum value will be 0.02. So here is our little first gear, and if you like you can increase the size of this inner hole, by changing this base value to say 0.1. And finally, this width value actually determines the length of the gear, in this direction. We can reduce it to a smaller value, say 0.05. So this gear modeling is almost done, but before we create our second gear, one thing is still pending, somewhere we need to store this pitch diameter, which we'll need later for the gear driver. So back to Blender, scroll down here, and under the custom properties, let's add a new property. We can give it a more meaningful name, like pitch diameter, by typing it down. It will become a new property of our gear that we can access from our driver. Then we can enter its value here, like 0.3. This is same as the pitch diameter divided by 100, like before. So the modeling of our first gear is ready, now we'll add another gear just beside this, which will drive the rotation of this bigger gear. So let's again go to the add menu, and add a new gear. We can move the second gear toward right, so that both the gears are clearly visible together. This time, we'll use a lesser number of teeth for the second gear, so let's change this number to say 12. And for the other fields, we'll do this calculation again, with the number of teeth as 12, with the same DP module and the same pressure angle. So we'll get the new values in the result, and we can see that the addendum and the dedendum remain the same, but we have a change in the root diameter and the pitch, so back to our gear creation, we have to change this radius to 0.19. Then like before, we have to add a new custom property. We'll use the same name for the property, which is pitch diameter. Custom properties are very useful when we use drivers. And this time, the value of this property should be 0.24. So we are ready for the action with both the gears. We have to first bring them together manually, by rotating and moving the gears as needed. The teeth of each gear should perfectly mesh with the other, and then we need to reset their rotation values. Since we have changed the rotation of this smaller gear, let's select this gear, and then apply the rotation from this object menu. We can verify that the rotation values are all reset to zero. We want to use this gear as the driver, so that when we rotate this gear, the bigger gear should also rotate in a perfect synchronization. And remember that we are in the top view, so this is the zero rotation. So select this gear, and right-click on its Z-Rotation value, and select Add Driver. So here we have a variable called VAR, and we need to pick up our driver gear for this field. 
Then we can go back to the driver window using edit driver. Now, instead of the X location, we need to select Z rotation. Then we'll add one more variable, and we can use a better name for this, maybe we can call it rotation1. For this variable, we have to select the smaller gear, which is the driver gear, and we have to type down the name of the custom property, which we have added to both the gears. It must have this exact format with the quote and the brackets, and you can verify that it has the correct value. Then create a third variable here. And this time, let's give it a name like rotation2. We'll select the bigger gear or the target gear for this field. We have to then use the same data path for this variable, so that we get the correct pitch diameter in this value. Now in this expression field, we have to use a Python code using these variables that we have added for this driver. So we'll remove the existing formula and type down var multiplied by the smaller pitch or rotation 1 divided by the bigger pitch or rotation 2. Blender will now evaluate this expression based on the values of these fields. If we now rotate this gear in any direction, we'll see that the other gear is rotating simultaneously, but it's using a wrong direction. This bigger gear has to rotate in the reverse direction if we rotate this smaller gear clockwise. So let's go back to the driver window using edit driver. We'll reverse the direction by adding a minus sign before this expression. Now if we rotate this smaller gear, we'll see that the other gear is rotating in a perfect manner and the rotation direction is also correct. There is a perfect mesh for the teeth of the gears and this is how you can set up two gears, one of them being the driver. You can also add more such gears and connect them with this driver gear using a driver expression as we just learned. So I hope you like this tutorial, and if you're a member of this channel, you can download the blend file of this tutorial as well. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.